they were really soft. They were soft, but I think I'm going to take this cost. This one, I'm going to spray this in there. It's all under there. That's okay, keep one over here. The same thing like this, I cross over here and just keep one over here. I can take it like this and rub, but you know what happens? I'm going to perform it. Always go the first time, but that's okay because if it doesn't go the first time, it will always go the second time. And that means two points all the time. Number three is harder still because you know what I'm going to do. You know I'm going to hang it in between number one and number two, which leaves just one. But if you're good, if you practice, you can scoop up the three, toss them out, and pass them. They start out, for example, with a couple of plastic discs. Then they have to put in the metal. So first, they put in the copper, and then they put in the silver. quite simple actually, it's done with trap. You build them into our sleeves, so you just rub over here on the sleeve. Mm -hmm. I'm back on there. Now some of us actually build the trap doors into the back of our hand, if we rub this right, the point will actually turn out the box. No really, it goes right through the trap door. Mm -hmm. That's like hell, but I do it for you. Anyway, that's just that coin there. But the one coin trick is never as interesting as the two coin trick. And unfortunately the two coin trick is never as interesting as the two coin trick. I'd like to think that the three-point trick is as interesting as the four-point trick, but it never is, except on the fourth point of view.